Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you a reflow own I bought recently. Uh, this machine is called as T960 and it's manufactured by a company called as Puhui. Puhui is a Chinese based uh, manufacturer and uh, I got this machine from a Delhi based vendor called as Sumilex Technologies. I got the machine for about 1.5 lakhs rupees and uh, this is including the taxes. The machine was shipped to me by VRL Logistics and it took about 10 days to arrive from Delhi to Darwar, Karnataka. The reason for buying this reflow machine is I wanted to provide quick turnaround time for my design projects and I also wanted to keep the prototyping costs low. When I design a PCB, I, it is sent for fabrication, it takes about 10 days to arrive and once the PCBs have arrived, we send the components and the bare boards for assembling which takes about 5 to 6 days and if I make the boards in small numbers, it costs me about 800 rupees per board. For example, my Waltrack V2 PCBs, if I make them in fine numbers, it costs me about 800 rupees per board which is kind of expensive so I wanted to bring down those costs slow so that I can provide quick design services as well as manufacture the boards whenever I want uh, in small numbers. Now let us talk about this machine. This machine is a 5 heating zone reflow machine and it is having a conveyor belt mechanism wherein you can place the boards on one side and they will come reflowed on the other side. Uh, there are 5 heating zones which can be controlled individually by the switches given here. There are 5 switches given. Uh, you need to turn on each of the switches to uh, start the heating for that particular heating zone. And there are function keys provided in the machine using which you can set the different temperature profiles. There are about 8 preset waveforms which come by default in the machine and you can select them using the function keys. And then there are these controls given here. This button is to start the conveyor belt motor means that the, once, you, uh, once you turn this on, the conveyor uh, belt motor starts moving at the speed set by this knob here, 10. So it has this marking from 0 to 10. Normally I keep it at 1 so uh, to the slowest speed so that the, so that the boards get properly reflowed. And then this is the on button. Once you press the on button, the display turns on. And then you can select the waveforms using the F2 button. And then once you are okay with the temperature profile or the wave setting, then you can press the F5 button to start the heating process. Uh, but still, uh, you need to turn on all these uh, buttons, which are the heating zones. These each button will turn on each of the he five heating zones. So you need to turn it one on one by one. So once you do this, the uh, display will show the waveform rising and it will show that the temperature has reached its uh, uh, so the, and it will show that the, this particular heating zone has reached this much temperature and then you can start the motor and uh, put your boards and the boards will come out to reflow. And in, inside the machine there is there are these fans so there are these are the three fans and inside again we have and inside it's quite simple there is just a belt I think the hot air comes from the top this is quite heavy Here we can select the certain profiles. So I'm using the eight wave sorting profile. Now the oven is on and uh, we need to turn the motor on so I can adjust the speed here and you can see the this conveyor belt starts moving so we need to insert the bolts here and, it, uh, and the bolts will come out of this place so we can adjust the speed here We should keep it uh, as low as possible. So it's moving at a very slow spa space. Now we need to turn on the ovens one by one. So each of the ovens uh, start heating 
there are five heating zones i have turned on uh, all of them so there are actually five heaters so uh, the oven shows uh, different uh, temperatures so this is the first heating zone second heating zone third fourth and fifth so this uh, as you can see uh, once i turned on the oven uh, the uh, the temperature has started rising and they will reach this set point values as shown here so once these values are reached we need to insert the boards it takes somewhere around 10 minutes to get heated up so once it gets heated up we can uh, solder as many boards as we want these are the exhaust fans so that uh, the solder fumes can get out of the machine i think we are done so each of the zones have entered the heating temperature 170 193 242 210 and 260 so now we can insert the Here comes the first board. So here are how the boards are looking nice now. Everything looks perfect and all components are soldered properly. The machine can run on single phase as well as on three phase connections. If you are having a single phase connection, you need to connect the L1, L2 and L3 lines and connect them to the phase line and uh, the earth line and the neutral line can be connected directly. That's the only connection that goes into the machine. There is no other wiring to be done. And uh, as soon as you give the power, the machine starts and it starts over functioning. There is no extra installation to be done for this. And when we did the wiring for the machine, the vendor recommended that uh, we had video separate wiring for the machine from the energy meter uh, because the machine draws a lot of current and uh, he told that it should not put load on the house wiring itself. So we did a separate wiring by using a four square mm wire. It is recommended that you use separate core cables for the wiring. Uh, we, what we did is we used a three core uh, cable of four square mm width. Uh, but uh, what happens is uh, the wires will not get proper ventilation and when the current is draw is too much, the wire becomes hot and it becomes soft. So there is a chance that the wire can get melted if you use it for a long time. The first boards to be reflowed on the machine were the Valtrac V2 PCBs shown here uh, and this is how the boards look after assembling. The results are quite good. Initially we did some mistakes like applying excess solder paste which created short circuits uh, but again we learned from our mistakes and uh, uh, now the boards look quite good. And recently we got an order to assemble 500 numbers for two of the projects we designed. The first project is a voice activated switch. Uh, it's a small board uh, manufactured in panel format. Uh, this is how the boards look after assembling. And the second board is a 3G audio spying device uh, which is still under PCB fabrication. Once the PCBs arrive we will be assembling them and shipping them back to the client together. So that's all for now. If you have any SMT components based boards to be assembled, send them over. We will be providing assembling services at affordable prices. Thank you for watching. If you like this video hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you for watching.